Question number 21 read, a bus contains 6 red bus and 4 blue bus. If one is chosen at random, what is the probability that it is red? So this is probability equation. And to solve this question, the first thing we need to do is to get the total, total balls. So which is going to be 6 red balls plus 4 blue balls. It's going to give us the total of 10 balls. So the next thing we're going to do, if you look at the equation, the equation, the last part of the equation read, what is the probability that the first one that is going to be choosing it's going to be red. So our favorable outcome, favorable outcome is going to be on red. And how many red balls we have in the equation? We have six red balls. So therefore, the probability is going to be six divided by the total balls, which is going to be 10. And six divided by 10 is the same as three over five if you break the fraction. And if the option is given in decimal, three over five is the same as 0.6 so question number 22 read express 0.072 as a percentage so if you are giving a decimal to express as a percentage what it means is that we're going to multiply that decimal by 100 so this is going to be 0.072 multiplied by 100 and to do this without the use of calculator multiply any decimal by 100 it implies we're going to move the point two times because 100 has two zero so we move the first one which is going to be this then we move the second one so the answer is just going to be 7.2 percent question number 23 read the sum of two number is 50 and their difference is 14 find the two number so we don't know the two number but from this equation we can use s and y to represent the number so the first line of the equation the sum of two number is 50 so we're going to sum x plus y which is assumed to be that number to be 50 is going to be x plus y is going to be equal to 50 and their difference is 14 so difference means subtraction so x minus y is going to be 14 so we have simultaneous equation so we need to find the value of x and also y from these two equations simultaneously so what we're we going to do we need to add the two equations so we're going to add it x plus x is going to give us 2x then y plus minus y is going to cancel because plus and minus is going to cancel which is going to be equal to 15 50 plus 14 is going to give us 64. now to get the value of x we need to divide both sides by 2 then we also do the same thing to the right hand side so that this 2 is going to cancel this 2 x now will be equal to 64 divided by 2 is going to give us 32 so therefore the value of x is 32 now to get the value of y we're going to substitute this value of x which is 32 to any of the equation so let's substitute to equation one so in equation one we have x plus y is equal to 50 so in place of the y we're going to replace the in place of x rather we're going to replace 32 so we're going to have 32 plus y is equal to 50 from equation 1 then what do we do we just take this 32 to the right hand side of the equation so it will remain only y in the left hand side which is going to be 50 and when this positive cross is going to be negative 32 so y now will be equal to 50 minus 32 is going to be 18 so therefore the first number is going to be 32 and the second one is going to be 18 so this is the two number question number 24 read a student score 45 55 60 17 and 80 in five subjects find his average score so when you hear average is the same thing as mean so all we need to do is to add all the score divided by the total subject which is going to be five so what i'm going to do is to add everything so which is going to be 45 plus 55 plus 60 plus 70 plus 80 then everything divided by the total subject which is going to be 5 45 plus 55 is going to give us 100 100 plus 60 is going to give us 160 then 160 plus 70 is going to give us 230 then 230 plus 80 is going to give us 310 then over 5 and when you divide 310 by 5 300 divided by 5 is going to give us uh, 60 then 10 divided by 5 is 2 so it's going to be 62. Question number 25 read If 12 men can complete a job in 15 days, how many men will complete it in 9 days working at the same rate? 
So if you look at the first line of the equation, it reads 12 men complete a job in 15 days. This is going to be 12 men then multiply by 15 days, which is going to give us 180 men, right? So now we are asked to find how many men we completed in nine days. So all we're going to do is to just divide this 180 by nine. And 180 by nine is going to give us 20 men. So this is how to answer this question. Question number 26 read simplify 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 5, then everything multiplied by 5 over 6. So we're given 3 over 4, then divided by 2 over 5, then multiply by 5 over 6. So all we're going to do is to first work on the first bracket. You know, when you are dividing a fraction, it's the same thing as just to cross multiply. So 3 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 15 over 4 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 8 then this is just the simplification of the first bracket then everything multiplied by 5 over 6 and multiplication of fraction is just the same as multiply the two numerator over multiply the two denominator 15 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 75 over 8 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 48 then we can reduce this fraction then 75 what number can go into 75 and 48 at the same time i think it's three because three can go into 75 uh 25 times and also three, uh, three can go into 48 16 times so this is how to answer this question the answer is 25 over 16. question number 27 read the simple interest on 20,000 naira for three years at five percent per annum is what amount so this is simple interest question. So the first thing we need to do is just to record the formula for simple interest, which is going to be equal to principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time all over 100. So the simple interest now is going to be equal to, from this question, principal is the actual money, which is going to be this 20,000. Then multiply by rate. At what rate? At rate of 5% then multiply by time and if as you can see in three years so the time is going to be in year three years then everything over 100 so this is going to be equal to this zero is going to cancel the zero this zero will cancel the zero 200 multiplied by five is going to give us 1000 then 1000 multiplied by three is going to give us 3000 naira so um, the amount is going to be 3000 naira this is how to answer this question Question number 28 read, a car travels 150 kilometers in 2.5 hours. Find its average speed in kilometer per hour. So we're asked to find the speed. So the first thing we need to do is to just recall the formula for speed, which is going to be equal to distance all over the time it cover. Now from this question, we can get our distance, which is in kilometer, then our time in hour. So the kilometer the car cover is 150 kilometer, which is the distance all over the time, 2.5 hours. So what we're going to do, we're going to divide 150 by 2.5. So the answer is just going to be 60 then kilometer per hour. Because when you multiply 2.5 multiplied by 60, is going to give us 150. So this is how to answer this question. Question number 29 read, if eight workers can paint a house in 12 days, how many days will it take six workers working at the same rate? So all we're going to do, if you look at the first line of the equation, eight workers can paint a house in 12 days. So it's going to be eight multiplied by 12, which is going to give us 96. And how many days will it take six workers to work at the same rate? So all we're going to do, is to divide this 96 by 6 workers. Then 96 divided by 6 is going to give us 16 days. So it will take them 16, it will take 6 person 16 days to complete the work at the same rate. Question number 30 read find the next two terms in a sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on. So from the sequence that is given, we are given 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on. Now, to get the next two terms, the first thing we need to do is to look at the ratio between two consecutive terms. So, the ratio between 6 and 2, when we divide 6 by 2, is going to give us 3. 
and also we look at the next uh, ratio of the two consecutive term which is this 18 and 6 so when we divide 18 divided by 6 is going to give us 3 also so the next one is 54 and 18 so when we divide 54 by 18 it will also give us 3 now as you can see if you observe this when you multiply 2 by 3 it's going to give us 6 when when you multiply 6 by 3 it's going to give us 18 when you multiply 18 by 3 it's going to give us 54 so therefore the next one is going to be 54 multiplied by 3 which is going to be 3 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 12 we write 2 and call 1 3 multiplied by 15 3 multiplied by 5 is going to be 15 then plus 1 we carry is going to be 16 so the answer the next one is going to be 162 now to get the next one again we're going to multiply this answer 162 by 3 which is going to be equal to 3 multiplied by 2 is going to be 6 3 multiplied by 6 is going to be 18 so we write 4 and carry 3 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 plus 1 we carry is going to give us plus 3 we carry plus one will carry is going to be four. So the next one is going to be 486. So